Hello, my name is Chloe, welcome to my channel. Today I'm bringing to you my December TBR. So let's just get this part of the video done straight away. My regular viewers may notice something very different about my face, and that is this new pair of glasses from Koala Eye. They reached out to me to showcase their company in exchange for a pair of glasses, and I am always completely transparent with you guys. Glasses get expensive. So when a company wants to provide me with some and some exclusive discounts for you guys, then I'm going to take them up on the opportunity. So these are the Lauren frame, and the link to everything I say will be down in the description, but there will be a link directly to these frames. I am not 100% sure I like how they look on my face. They are quite narrow compared to my face. I have quite a round head and the round frames um, are not working for me in exactly all the ways I wanted them to, but I, they are very, very comfortable. So it's still a win for me. I'm just gonna flip the camera around to show you them exactly, which I'm gonna do with my glasses off, which is always interesting. Okay, so here are the actual frames. They are completely clear, but they're picking up the color of the chair. They are that clear. They have the, I wanna say the keyhole eye thing. I don't know what that's called. Um, they are very, very light. They're completely plastic. The sides look metal, but I believe they are still plastic. Um, and yeah, just very thin and comfortable. There is nothing to them. So they are potentially the comfiest pair of glasses I have, which I'm really, really loving. I can just throw these on and not worry about like how I'm lay on a pillow and squishing them and things like that. You all know what I mean if you wear glasses, but I do have some exclusive discounts for you. Apologies, I'm looking at my screen. I wanna get this exactly right. So the first thing is getting your first pair of frames for $4.99. They are an American company, but there is a page linked down below where um, it's new offers for new customers and it's £4.99 for one pair of frames. Also, you can use my code CHLOEYT, which will get you 50% off any frames and lens 40, which will give you 40% off any lenses. So if you wanna head over to Koala Eye and just get an idea of prices and what is available, I would definitely, definitely recommend it. So with that being said, it's time to get on to the books I will be reading in December. Starting out with the Chloe's Crime Scene corner pick of Dancing with the Octopus by Deborah Harding. I will link the announcement video where I announce November, December and January's books if you have no idea what I'm talking about. But Chloe's Crime Scene Corner is a book club I run where we read true crime, non-fiction and dark fiction on alternate months. So December is the time for Dancing with the Octopus. I was in communications with Profile Books, the publisher of this book. In exchange to read it in my book club, I got several copies which I distributed to people over in the Discord. So make sure you're in the Discord to not miss any future opportunities like that and to be able to talk to us about this book. So this says, the telling of a true crime. One Omaha winter day in 1978, when Deborah Harding was just 14, she was abducted at knife point, thrown into a van, assaulted, held for ransom and left to die. But what if this wasn't the most traumatic defining event in her childhood? It sounds so great, so gripping, and I cannot wait to see what we think about it in the book club because it is a big switch from what we've actually been reading. We are reading Tender is the Flesh in November, so this is gonna be an interesting shift, I think. I then have two buddy reads this month. I am buddy reading with Victoria from What Victoria Read, and we're gonna be reading Bird Box by Josh Malaman. So I believe I watched this movie, but I don't think I paid any attention because I'm a little bit clueless. I believe it is a horror where there are creatures, potentially aliens, and you're completely fine unless you look at them. So everyone wears blindfolds. And I have a vivid memory of a woman and her children in a boat wearing blindfolds. And that's pretty much all I can picture of the movie. So we're gonna be reading this one. I have it on my Kindle, so I don't have a physical copy to hold up and show you. But Victoria is an absolute sweetheart. She sent me a photo of her shelves and got me to pick out anything that I have and would like to read. So we're finally gonna be buddy reading together in December. Another buddy read I'm doing is The Diary of a Young Girl by Anne Frank, which I'm reading with Emily from Noval Novels. 
I'm assuming this is going to be a very, very hard hitting book. If you don't know what this is, this is the diary that Anne Frank wrote while she was hiding in the attic in Amsterdam from the Nazis. So I'm going to read the back of it just so I don't give you any misinformation. I would hate to get this wrong. So this says, in July 1942, 13 year old Anne Frank and her family fleeing in fleeing the horrors of Nazi occupation, went into hiding in an Amsterdam warehouse. Over the next two years, Anne vividly describes in her diary the frustrations of living in such confined quarters, the constant threat of discovery, the hunger and fear. Her diary ends suddenly when in August 1944, she and her family were finally discovered by the Nazis. This book provides a deeply moving and unforgettable portrait of Anne Frank, an ordinary and yet extraordinary teenage girl. So, I haven't been to Amsterdam to the Anne Frank house. I would love to go and I know Cole would also like like to go. So that is on our like life bucket list travels. I have been to Auschwitz concentration camp but I believe Anne Frank didn't go there. I believe she went to Bergen-Bausen but I could be completely wrong on that. Um, I guess I will find out as I read this book. I'm sure there'll be information after her diary about what happened to her and the family. Um, but yeah, I'm assuming this is gonna be the most traumatic thing I've ever read and I'm not ready for it but I'm so glad me and Emily will be reading it together to kind of comfort each other along the way so very excited to be picking this one up and then it's time for my Christmas books so I made the decision with myself that I'm going to mood read in December I never ever mood read I always have a very strict TBR um, but one of the things I wanted to get done was to read all of my Christmas books so starting out with the only one I don't have physically and that is The Afterlife of Holly Chase by Cynthia Hand. I have this on my Kindle and I've owned it for about three years now and every Christmas I forget that I have it because it's on my Kindle. This is a YA book that I believe is a retelling of um, A Christmas Carol. So it's about Holly Chase who dies and ends up working for a company where she is the ghost of Christmas past I believe or something along those lines um, and she's having a very boring afterlife until the year our story is told and it's not so boring anymore but I don't know why so I cannot wait to read that one. The other YA book I have is Love Secret Santa by S.A. Domingo. I got this on Amazon it was reduced down to about £1.50 so I grabbed it um, and it just sounds so cute. It says to do in December, one study for exams, two organised charity fundraiser, three find out who my secret Santa is, Falling in love isn't on Angel's to-do list, but this Christmas is full of surprises. And the writing on the page is massive. It's a floppy book. It's YA, it's contemporary. I'm assuming romance. I'm sure this is going to fly by. Another book I think is gonna be really, really quick is One Day in December by Josie Silver. This is an adult romance and I will just read the back of this one because I am quite clueless. Rachel grabbed this one for me in a charity shop when she came to visit, so thank you again, Rachel. Actually, I forgot to say, jumping back, this was a gift from Sarah from Septimus Snape for my birthday, so thank you again, Sarah, for passing me this one. I had not forgotten that fact. I just forgot to mention it in this video. But back to this book, um, completely different vibes. It says, Laurie is pretty sure love at first sight doesn't exist. After all, life isn't a scene from the movies, is it? But then, through a misted up bus window one snowy December day, she sees a man who she knows instantly is the one. Their eyes meet, there's a moment of pure magic, and then her bus drives away. Laurie thinks she'll never see the boy from the bus again, but at their Christmas party a year later, her best friend Sarah introduces her to the new love of her life, who is, of course, the boy from the bus. Determined to let him go, Laurie gets on with her life, but what if fate has other plans? And doesn't that sound bloody adorable? It just does, in my opinion. And the last Christmas book I have is a completely different vibe, and that is The Secret Santa by Trish Harnito, I believe is how it's pronounced. This is a thriller slash horror slash murder mystery um, based at Christmas. It says, this year you'll get what you deserve. A lavish party, an isolated mansion, two hosts who will do anything to keep their secrets. A lavish locked room mystery with a seasonal edge, The Secret Santa is packed with twists that will keep you guessing until the final page. It is very short, there is big writing on the pages and I think this one's gonna fly by. I am hoping it is the spooky seasonal book I need. So that's it, that is my whole TBR. I have these five books plus two audiobooks and that's it. I'm actually gonna let myself mood read. I have ideas for books I wanna read, but I don't wanna say them because then that feels like they're a, 
it's a normal TBR, um, when really I do just want to have the freedom to grab whatever I want. I'm not going to be in the country the whole month with my books, so that means I will get to mood read from my Kindle and my iBooks account, which is going to be interesting. I'm assuming there'll be a lot of smutty romance on my December wrap-up, but yeah, that is it for my TBR. Thank you so much for watching this, guys. I do hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, that is that is really it. There is nothing more for me to say. So make sure you go hit the links for Koala Eye down in the description. I would really appreciate you just, just go and have a look. Just click the links, please. I hope you enjoy what you're reading in December. Please do let me know what you're reading down in the comments. But that is all I have time for today. So thank you very much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next one. Mm -hmm.